Hi and welcome to 8 Mind Academy. I'm Paweł Potasiński and this is the second episode of AI in Power BI series. Today I'm going to present you with the Quick Insights feature, which is available both in Power BI service and Power BI desktop application. Enjoy! To demonstrate the Quick Insights feature of Power BI, I will use a very simple dataset containing two tables, orders and products. Both tables are related by the product ID uh, column, and uh, really, it's not the it's not the typical data set that you may see uh, when you follow the best practices in modeling in Power BI. So you don't see here a dedicated date table, um, and you won't see the DAX measures in that. But it it mimics the situation when the end user just imports the Excel file containing two tables which are related to each other and wants to immediately see the results of the analytics without having the analytics skills. So um, let's move to the uh, report. Um, it, there are some predefined uh, visuals already uh, on the screen so you can see that I, I, can, I can see my sales divided by market as well as by product category and I have also a timeline that shows me what was actually the actual trend of my sales over time. Uh, to do this uh, trend analytics uh, I'm using the, uh, the analytics tab of, um, of ARIA chart so you can create a trend line easily uh, as, a, as, a, as the end user Again, having no analytical knowledge, you're able to see whether your trend is increasing. And I can see that my sales increases over time. Now, uh, I, as I can see the trend, I'm, I, I may be curious about why the, uh, why the sales increased actually so hardly between July and August 2015. Uh, so the question is why? And uh, to answer this question, I can select uh, select the, the data point of August 2015 by doing a right click and saying analyze explain the increase. So this is the option that allows me to run underneath some analytics leading to additional insights. So what Power BI is actually doing, or, well it's not the actual AI usage because uh, underneath there are a bunch of DAX queries running which take, uh, which take different attributes describing the data and sees what's, what was the actual, uh, what was the actual uh, sales um, divided by the members of those attributes between July and August 2015. So it's filtering data to July and August and then uh, checks whether there were some significant changes um, in uh, different different uh, attribute members. So we can see the first attribute as a, taken to the analytics uh, was the country, and I can see that for this, um, I I was uh, I was increasing in France. My sales was increasing also in Germany, United Kingdom, United States, and China. And, and all the other countries that are not specifically uh, listed here were, were collected into the other group. So actually what I'm, what I'm looking for in this kind of analytics, I'm looking for any uh, chart that will show me a specific, um, a specific uh, member of my, uh, of my attribute uh, to see the, some, some significant increase. And I can see actually that medium priority, I can see this, this it's a priority uh, um, attribute anal analyzed here. The, me the medium, uh, the medium uh, um, priority was increasing much higher than the others. And that's the insight um, I, I could use in my analytics. However, in, at, at that time I'm interested mostly in geographical spread of my sales. So I'm looking for some insights on market and, and maybe region. So I see the market so here is the analytics by market and I can see that actually um, in the market in the market um, the European market was incre was increasing in size um, significantly and that's the insight I want to see on my report for example 
So to do that, to add this inside uh, to my report, whether it, sh it should be visualized by the waterfall chart or maybe I could use a scatter chart, which shows me uh, again the, the some of some of the uh, trends, and I can see that Europe was increasing the, the heavily. Um, and also I can use a stacked column, a stacked column chart, or eventually a ribbon chart to see what actually uh, what actually drove my uh, increase in sales between July and August. And I, I will use the default. I will use the, the waterfall chart, and I can easily add it to my report by clicking the plus add to page uh, icon. So you can see uh, the the visual shows up on my report. And now the only thing I I, I, I should do is to uh, format it properly just to match the formatting of the report. Um, because I, I've done this before, I will delete this visual and I will just show you the uh, the actual vi uh, visual, visual which is already colored and prepared to uh, fit the layout of the report. So as you can see, again, Europe is the, the market that uh, drove my, my increase in sales between July and August 2015, and that's the insight I found uh, thanks to the Quick Insights feature in Power BI Desktop. Uh, this feature actually has another another possibility um, that the user can use to analyze this time distribution of the data. To give you an example, uh, let's focus on this sales by product uh, category um, chart here. Um, you can see that uh, from this chart, it, it, it seems that technology is the category that uh, actually uh, brought me the most revenue over time. Uh, however, I, I would like to check whether this, uh, this distribution among different categories is uh, the same, for example, for different markets, uh, maybe uh, from the perspective of uh, priority uh, attribute and, and so forth. So to do that, again, I can click on this chart with right click and, uh, and um, choose the option analyze, find the word that this, where this distribution is different option. Now the Power BI again runs filtered queries, bunch of filtered DAX queries uh, with uh, different uh, attributes taken into summary uh, uh, with, the, with the queries. And I can see immediately that for, uh, for the market, for Latin America um, uh, market, the, this distribution is slightly different than in general. In general, I saw that technology uh, was the highest, uh, had the highest sales. While for LATAM, the situation is slightly different. You can see that the furniture is uh, the most, um, the most uh, uh, visible category. It generates the most revenue. And also I can do this, uh, this kind of analytics for Europe, which shows me that, uh, yeah, technology is the first one, but uh, furniture is uh, on, on, on the last uh, position in terms of sales. Office supplies uh, gets higher sales. And I can also see how this, uh, how this uh, chart compares to the, the to the overall by uh, unselecting comparing proportions so I can see how how what percentage of actual sales in those categories um, Europe as a market generates and I, again I can add this visual uh, to the to my report page uh, just to have these insights uh, visible and available for other users to, to share. Uh, on the to share on the on, on the report, and of course uh, there are more insights. So you can you can um, select different different uh, insights, different uh, different um, theses actually, and uh, then then uh, drill down and uh, check whether those whether those uh, insights are useful from the business perspective. Um, you can imagine how long it would take uh, for the end user to generate uh, this this number of analytical um, insights. Uh, it's, it's, it, it could be very time consuming. So it's it's really a useful feature from the end user perspective. However, this is not the end of quick insights. It's just the beginning. Uh, actually, what you saw uh, is um, this this to these two features, uh, so anal analysis of distribution and explaining increase or decrease are in preview actually, uh, but you can also see the Quick Insights feature in the Power BI service. And to see that, I will publish this report to the uh, Power BI service. Uh, this is quite normal life uh, part of life cycle that you uh, create a report and then 
share the report with your peers using Power BI service and workspaces available in this uh, service. So I will choose AI in Power BI workspace and that will uh, that will cause Power BI desktop send sending um, the PBI uh, file to the service uh, along with the model and the visuals. So I should see immediately <coughs> in my uh, uh, in my in my um, workspace, I should see the data set and report. So again, uh, if I go to, to the data set, I have an option to get quick insights. Now, Power BI is doing the same thing uh, as as it was doing in, in Power BI Desktop a while ago. So it generates a bunch of DAX queries uh, summarizing data, um, uh, summarizing, summarizing data by different attributes, and in a moment you can see, depending on the uh, complexity of the data set and the size of the data set, you can see the insights. And the insights are just a bunch of charts that can show you some of the uh, some of the uh, distributions and uh, and the, and the explains of how your data. Uh, what, what, what's in your data actually? So, for example, uh, I can see that uh, there is a, a product subcategory called tables, which is significantly, which has significantly negative profit. So I could focus on that. Um, then I can see that the shipping cost for the critical uh, priority is the highest, which is pretty much obvious because uh, that's probably also cost the most uh, the, the customer. So. So yeah, it's typical. So most of those uh, observations and insights can be quite obvious, but even if you find a single or, or let's say a couple of, of uh, evaluable insights, uh, imagine how powerful this, this feature can be. And again, you can use those, uh, those uh, charts uh, with, by, use, by using the uh, pin to the dashboard feature, and I can pin it to my new dashboard called Sales just for uh, just to use it in the future so i will go to the dashboard and i and when i see this dashboard and i see this chart i can, I can click on that and uh, what i also can do is i can i can go further with having this information that for tables the profit is negative i can get insights and see whether there are any any other attributes that can help me to analyze it analyze it further for example uh, you can see that um, um, here I can see that for standard class the profit is uh, also um, significantly significantly more negative than for than for any other ship ship mode. So I can actually do some cross validation, cross check of this uh, of this uh, data um, to add additional attributes to my analysis. So uh, yeah, again uh, I encourage you to to um, to try this feature uh, and whenever you whenever you produce quick insights they are already there available under your data set so when you when you create them once if you go to the data set you will have this option view insights uh, and the, the insights are already there and ready for you to use and you can just uh, try them uh, validate validate th theories that they produce and uh, check whether they bring some some valuable insights um, in your in your business process. Uh, so to wrap it up, um, you saw that um, that uh, the uh, quick insights feature can be pretty much useful from the end user perspective. Uh, there is no need to have uh, DAX code uh, in your hand. There is no need to have the analytical skills. The only thing you have to do is to learn uh, how this feature works. And then you can you can use it as the end user, which, well, it's 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 not actually the AI again. It's it's the uh, it's the uh, very useful feature and helpful feature from the end user perspective. But it's but it's a, a kind of replacement of a manual work that you normally would do when you when you would like to see uh, those kinds of findings and insights in your reports. As you can see, the Quick Insights feature in Power BI can be used by the end user to support answering why questions based on the facts that can be hidden in your data. 
You don't need to have the analytical skills in order to use this feature. Just learn how to use it in Power BI Desktop and Power BI Service, and it can, it can significantly speed up your analytical processes. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, please subscribe our channel and watch the rest of the, of the series. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.